thousand. Sam Power, who is no relation to Richard Power Said, is a lecturer in corruption analysis at the University of Sussex. Uh, Sam, you're very, very welcome to the programme. What do you make of this? Has she got a right to take the cash, do you think? Yeah, it's a fascinating debate because um, <clears throat> quite often it's um, it, it's sort of, sort of miscast as Liz Truss is getting this £115,000, but it is for very, very specific reasons. And it's not in your back pocket, it's, it's extra staffing costs, isn't it? Extra staffing costs, administrative costs, and it has to be, um, it's incurred expenses for prime ministers um, former prime ministers uh, continuing their sort of extraordinary duty in public life sort of broadly. Um, but the question is, how, how long do you have to be a prime minister to actually earn, I suppose, that status as special? And that's the thing that just wasn't um, wasn't really made clear. This was introduced in the early 90s after um, Margaret Thatcher uh, stood down and um, they, they, they introduced it. And sort of since then, prime ministers have been in office for long enough that it seems relatively reasonable that they still provide a service, that they sort of provide a good and perhaps it's worth paying for that. Now we're in this conundrum where do you put a time limit on it? Do you have mm -hmm. to serve for a certain amount of time to draw some of these Well, I think, I think most people say that, you know, maybe even Tony Blair, who quite frankly should be in prison in The Hague, as far as I'm concerned, if he is doing what he's doing, I probably don't resent him getting money to be ex-Prime Minister. I don't know, I need to sort of sit down and think about that. But I certainly don't resent, I think, most Prime Ministers doing so, even ones I don't like, uh, like, Bor like uh, Boris Johnson and uh, Tony Blair. But in terms of Liz Truss, I mean, it's only 49 days. Maybe it should be proportionate, maybe it doesn't. I mean, just to illustrate for people, what kind of things could she be kind of asked to do? Because a lot of it are quite, sort of quite lucrative speeches and things that they're going abroad to do. Boris Johnson certainly makes a lot of money doing that. Um, yeah, so uh, the, the, the particular things that you can claim money for are managing an office, staffing, administration costs, these kinds of things, and indeed planning visits. So it could be the case that part of this money can be used for <clears throat> not personal enrichment, it's very, very ring fence, but for uh, it could reasonably, you know, you could do lots of administration and that could help you to do the activities that you do conduct as a former prime minister. And I think the key thing to think about is, is this money well spent? I think we're, we're sort of broadly aligned um, on the fact that, you know, former prime ministers are should, should be seen as an asset in the same way that, you know, the, the, the US, they have a great respect for their presidents and they get these presidential offices. But perhaps if you leave office in differing levels of disgrace, um, then perhaps you're not always welcome to... But, but surely, surely it's going to be the ones who live in... Who, I mean, who arbitrates this as well, Sam? That's the question, because the ones who leave in disgrace are never going to say, actually, no, do you know what? I'm going to turn down the 115 grand. I mean, Liz Truss is someone who's put a list of people who should be ennobled um, and who should be getting uh, OBEs and MBEs and so on and all the rest, despite the fact that she was only there for 49 days. <laughs> Yeah, precisely. And I think that this is actually quite a useful sense check almost yeah. or stress test for certain um, rules and regulations that we have. So in terms of the um, the PDCA, the Public Just Duty Cost Allowance that we're talking about, perhaps we hadn't really thought before that uh, we would have a prime minister that perhaps wasn't deserving of this. So perhaps <laughs> yeah. it does need to be ring although, fed. Although deserving, perhaps doing quite a lot of work in that sense. Sam, thank you very, very much indeed. That's Sam uh, Power there, who is a lecturer in corruption, corruption analysis at the University of Sussex.